Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Christian Kovac, and uh, let me introduce my running project. I work at the Department of Orthopedics at Samuelverse University. Uh, my supervisor is George, Kovac, uh, George Kocsis, and my SMS is Sila Advancha. Our statistician is Gergely Agoc. Uh, before going on my uh, vision, I have to tell you that I'm a simple man, a simple vision. And before joining to the uh, translational medicine, my vision was a, a nice house on Roja Dombat. Since joining, <laughs> since joining the translational medicine, uh, I'm a new person with new vision to make brand new custom-made implants and designs by updated understanding of bone behavior and linking it with everyday orthopedic service. The mission, as a part of an orthopedic team, we are providing cutting-edge orthopedic service based on evidence-based medicine and research. I have two running projects. The first is dealing uh, with the bones Young's moduli, and the second is dealing with uh, the acromioclavicular uh, joint dislocations and its uh, surgical technique. So, the first project, uh, I am, uh, or we are uh, investigating the impact of different factors influencing the accuracy of in vitro uh, Young's model results. This is a systematic review and a meta-analysis. My co-investigator is Victor Weninger, and I have two enthusiastic project students working with us, Scott Inkabarosh and Vence Kovac. The Young modulus, briefly, uh, is the elasticity of bone. Um, nowadays, uh, Custom-made uh, implants and new implant designs are getting more popular, but those need uh, precise pre-plannings. In order to achieve uh, better implant fitting in bone, uh, finite element analysis requires precise Young modulus results. Young modulus uh, can be measured by several methods. It can be measured by in silico way, so a computer uh, calculation, or by in vitro methods. These are the in vitro methods. The first two are uh, the, uh, the compressional, the stretching one, the non-identation, non and also the ultrasound. So these are in vitro uh, ways to measure the, uh, the young modulus of the bone. On this slide, you can see several uh, methods for measuring, and these are the results in uh, uh, Geopascal of the young modulus. What you have to see that there are uh, differences. And as I mentioned before, we need precise young modulus uh, results in order to have a good calculations. So our aim is to uh, make a categorization of different factors and compare the corresponding young modulus results. And our hypothesis is that, the, the, that there is a systematic error and behind it, uh, the, the source of it are these uh, methods of uh, measuring. Uh, according to our uh, PICO, we are looking for uh, articles that contains a young modulus of human bone and, uh, uh, yes, of human bone, and uh, made the, the, the young modulus uh, results not by uh, in silico or calculations, but in vitro. And with that, we could achieve uh, new implant designs, innovation, and new perspectives for finite element analysis. Our systematic uh, search started in October, however, uh, I have to update it, uh, and the updated search key can be seen here. Uh, the updated search uh, was approximately three weeks ago, and with this, we acquired uh, more than 20,000 uh, uh, records. From those, uh, with the uh, duplicate removal, we reached uh, approximately 14,000, uh, and from uh, the abstract and the title selection, we decreased the number to approximately 500. And with the full text selection, we reached approximately 200 uh, records. The second project. The second project uh, is uh, comparing the safety and the efficacy of the lockdown technique uh, to other approaches in acromioclavicular instability. This project contains two parts. One will be a retrospective court study, and the other one is a systematic review. And uh, the project students are again at the same, and they are helping me. The acromial clavicular uh, dislocations are common in the shoulder girdle, 
and uh, it occurs during high energy uh, sports and traumas, uh, mostly uh, in ice hockey, rugby, handball, and uh, snow, sport, uh, snow sports. There are approximately 100 of techniques, uh, surgical techniques, and we use surgical technique uh, in a case of dislocation uh, type 3 or above, according to the Rockwood uh, classification. Uh, but we focus uh, our aim on the lockdown technique itself. This is, uh, it makes uh, anatomical reconstruction with a synthetic uh, ligament. And on the picture, you can see a type 3 uh, uh, dislocation of the left acromioclavicular joint, uh, according to the Rockwood classification. So our aim is to measure the efficacy of the lockdown technique. And uh, our hypothesis that this technique is superior to the other uh, techniques or approaches. With this, uh, we believe that we can, sorry, that we can uh, improve the the uh, treatment of the AC uh, instabilities. Uh, first, we so we have two parts. The the well, one part is the systematic search. Uh, we conducted it. Uh, not long ago, uh, we made it in five uh, big databases with these search keys. We acquired approximately 500 uh, records, and with the duplicate removal, we could uh, remove approximately 100 of records. And this is where we are right now with the uh, systematic search part. But the other is a multi-centered retrospective course study. It, the, our plan is to uh, have approximately 45 patients from three centers, and uh, this is uh, our progress uh, uh, with this uh, project, and uh, we are just about to finish the, the permission of recap. So, all in all, uh, the uh, submission dates uh, for the first uh, project is the May of 2022 and the September of 2022. Thank you very much for your uh, attention. Uh, I would like to quote two uh, Sorry, I would like to uh, mention two codes because they are very close to me. The first one, uh, because I think my strength also lies uh, in my tenacity, and without that, uh, I could not uh, move away the mountains ahead of me, uh, stone by stone. Thank you very much. You are a great uh, uh, audience, and I'm ready to hear your questions. For the first topic, I just would like to ask that we focus on just one bone or di direct type of bones because uh, your search keys are quite general, trabeculars and, and so on and so on. Uh, what will be the focus in the matter? Uh, we like to clear the field of view. So uh, we like to make a categorization of each anatomic uh, uh, places or locations and and uh, make the categorization also to the, uh, uh, to the methods, how were they measured, were they dry, were they uh, wet, I mean the, these uh, uh, bone samples, were they uh, measured in micro or macro scale. So there are a lot of details that could... So you will get the bone-specific biomedical property tables? A very you... huge, enormous table, yes. Yeah, that's the aim. Okay, thank you. I may have a question, but please. before uh, asking a question, I, I will ask you to go back to the second project's uh, PICO, please. Uh, okay, I see. I, I, it's, it's not be uh, uh, a good question, I don't know uh, right now, but the outcomes that you measure, these Oxford and Constant and ACs score, uh, are they usually used in general practice? So these are the scores that uh, you have to uh, uh, ask? Yes, when I made my preliminary search, uh, I checked uh, a lot of uh, key articles uh, with uh, systemat or, and systematic reviews, and mostly these were the scores that they were measuring next to the, uh, the, the uh, visual analog uh, pain sc uh, scale. So yes, these were the ones that they were always checking, and mostly in the articles you can find these. Thank you for your answer. Can we go back to your first slide, maybe the second? I mean, just showing the young modulus numbers. There are quite a bit of differences, I have to say. That now you say that they actually they have systematic errors. Something. I mean, you use this term, I think. 
But what if they use different bone, they, different, they got different preparations, they got different uh, instrumentation, they got different standards, and this is coming from, from those? Or do you have a clue why is the difference? I mean, because error may not be the good word. They just have their own coordinate, coordinate system, I would yes. say. Thank you very much. This is a very good question. Um, therefore, we are creating a very huge table because we also know or think that not only the methods, the, the ones that are responsible for these uh, differences, but also uh, the fixation technique of the bone, uh, the location, is it dry or wet, so uh, we have to uh, take into account many things, therefore we are, uh, want to make sure that we won't make a mistake, so we are making a big uh, uh, table, but first our hypothesis is, uh, is uh, focusing on the methods, but there will be other aspects as well, and they all will be uh, uh, checked. I think the most important factor is the age of the, of the donor. donor. Yes. And if you have the data as which age was the donor at mm -hmm. the harvesting time or when, when they died, uh, that, that would be a, a great clue later. Yes, to help a lot. we think the same. Thank you very much. Uh, are you planning to rank these values? Because if you are planning to rank these results, there are some methods, some statistical methods by which you could do this, but this is just a comment and maybe you... I think the, my biostatistician would be the best person to ask this question, but uh, we, we were mentioning uh, regression uh, you know, methods to, to measure the whole uh, table, but I think the biostatistician would be... I mean, you, there are methods that could say that which one is the best one. Yes. yes. Thanks. Thanks.